Hi everybody, this is Tuki Readings and today this reading is going to be for Pisces. So Pisces, let's see what comes up for you guys. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what do we have for Pisces. Pisces, you can check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking and feeling about you? Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes, guidance from spirit. And any other messages that you may need will be in that video. I will also be linking your 2021 forecast as well as your timeless twin flame soulmate reading. Okay. What do we have for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces? Okay, Pisces. So I think that you you're doubting something and walking away from something. It is about a love situation, Pisces. Um, you're at crossroads, okay? You don't know if you should continue with this or you should let go of this. But every time you give the situation a go, it looks like this person never fails to disappoint you, okay? Um, <laughs> I mean, there is love, there is chemistry here, okay, um, between the two of you. But you've been disappointed several times and this is something that you know that you know this person like there is something that has happened in the past that you can just know forget about okay and this with the eight of cups to me this looks like you're trying to think from logic but at the same time your emotions okay because what i'm getting here pisces is that this is giving me the whole storyline without even getting the other cards, actually. I can read your whole story <laughs> because I can see what's happening here. But I think Pisces, this person also has several times promised to meet up with you or to do something and then they never did it. Um, but at the same time, Pisces, can I ask you something? How many chances are you going to give to this person? I think you've woken up, but at the same time, not really. Because if they were to say two sweet words today, you would still go back. And I think that's just a Pisces thing. I'm a Pisces myself, so I think it's just, I don't know. But to me, it looks like you're at crossroads here when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to a partnership. You want to meet up with this person, but at the same time, you may feel like it's just not worth it, this connection what has happened has been repeatedly happening and you know maybe you just don't want to do that right now okay yeah the judgment okay One thing I'm seeing here in this reading continuously, Pisces, is that your love, your work, sorry, your love for your work has never disappointed you, okay? So, for a lot of you, I'm seeing that love showed up here for you. For some of you, this could be uh, from a past person or a new person trying to come in your life, but love is showing up for, for you here. But I just feel like your focus is not on that. Your back is turned um you're just very focused on your money your work your stability and there's a lot of soul searching happening here for you pisces you're looking forward to make some sort of a decision here as well you're looking forward to perhaps um leave something from the past okay and try to move on maybe from this okay You 
recognize the toxicity of a situation that's what i'm getting majorly here is that you are recognizing the toxicity of the situation and some of you are choosing to stay silent about it but at the same time i feel like and honestly pisces i don't think you're ever gonna say a word to this person you're just deciding to leave or whatever it is that you're deciding to do okay it's, it's a silent thing right now I think your focus is a lot on your work. Um, trying to distract yourself from love even. Okay. <laughs> this person is coming back in Pisces. Let me tell you that. What is that five of swords what is that five of swords what is this devil energy press Ooh, okay so what i'm getting here pisces okay i'm getting a lot of different things um pisces you may feel a little bit left out by this person at times okay you may feel like this person hides things from you um this person is not that obvious with what they want with you it's it's merely a friends with benefit but it's it's more than that at the same time but you would never know because they've never told you that or maybe they have but they've never shown you with their actions okay you have your doubts about something pisces and i feel like these days you are reconsidering everything in your life you're reconsidering even the littlest of things because you just do not want to be bothered with you know making irrational decisions and the ones you've made in the past you're trying to learn from them let your intuition be the guide pisces i would just tell you that because i feel like you have a very strong intuition you know what's up most of the times but it's just that you don't trust it so let your intuition be the guide here okay we have the devil and the empress together now pisces i'm gonna tell you something you know that this person's after your looks this person's after you know something i do not know it's looking like a flingy energy where it's just you know friends with benefit and then i'm gonna disappear on you once i get what i want out of you whatever the case might be and i feel like you know that you know that and you view this as a toxic situation okay but you were very loyal here to this toxicity and you expected loyalty out of somebody as well um now pisces one thing i keep getting here is that this person there's a runner chaser dynamic here first of all and secondly with the six of cups energy here i definitely feel like this person is very very attracted to you and attached to you emotionally okay they love you actually but the thing is that this is something that doesn't really show that i mean they have shown you affection but it doesn't really show up in their actions as in you know them, them pursuing you with the kind of love that they have for you pisces ace of cups queen of cups six of cups they adore you but the thing here is that they're like they play games with the five of swords and the king of pentacles energy this could be somebody um one more thing i'm getting here is that this person looks forward to meet up with you talk to you okay um i think this person is going to come back in your life again uh, but they are kind of like missing your presence they already feel like you're withdrawing and you've given up on this battle you've given up on trying to fight for this with the eight of cups being your energy strongly you have your own doubts you have your own doubts and you're letting go you're choosing to walk away and i think walking away is not the easiest for you but at the same time giving this person a second chance makes you second guess because you do not want to end up where you begin with like trust me you've been somewhere tragic with your emotions when this person hurt you okay 
something about this person is very toxic uh, and I was I was actually not going to use the word toxic I was going to use the word stubborn but I don't know why toxic came up and this person is actually very stubborn let's see what's coming up for Pisces You know what I'm getting here, Pisces, for you? <clears throat> I'm getting that you are very picky with your energy these days, okay? You're very determined to let go of relationships, to let go of people who no longer serve you, who are just not good for you and you know about it. And I think that you're eliminating distractions from your life anyway you you know that you can i mean being a pisces i know that we can have 80 tabs open in our brains but at the same time pisces i think you're slowly but surely letting go and picking what is worth it and what's not in your life in general not just love other things as well prioritizing things and with the nine of pentacles eight of pentacles i see your focus being a lot on your stability your money even being single some of you just want to be alone by yourself enjoy that time um some of you are wanting to travel maybe or visit some somewhere you know where there is nature perhaps but i'm really really getting that hmm. i'm getting that the kind of financial stability you want is coming in for you but at the same time your dreams are big. You're dreaming of so much more, okay? Now, what's coming up for you, we, we have the hangman, the world, and the queen of pentacles. <sighs> Who is self-obsessed here? There is somebody here, like, looking at these cards, I'm getting a vibe of self-obsession. Like, somebody here is obsessed with themselves. Um... And I feel like Pisces, some of you are taking care of yourself, you know, you are looking good or at least trying to look good, putting your makeup on or I don't know, no self-care stuff. If, if you're a guy, whatever it is that you do, um, brush your hair, whatever it is that you do as a guy, like play with your car. I do not know. What are you doing? But you're doing something you love. You're lifting your spirit up and it has a lot to do with something like your your hobbies or even if it is about money, shopping, things like that. You're indulging in something and like I said, a little bit like spoiling yourself kind of an energy too. I'm, I'm also getting Pisces that... You're going to be getting assisted, okay? So if you are looking to expand on something, if there's a new path in your life that you want to take or whatever it is, it's like God will help you, okay? You will be given help from unknown sources by the universe, by God, okay? It's like you're being supported by the universe at this time. Very important that you pay attention to your thoughts. You pay attention to the signs given to you. Um, and enlightenment. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the dose of enlightenment. So some of you have really been enlightened. Some sort of a truth has come out. And for the longest time, you were at crossroads about the situation. But I think that the truth will eventually come out and for a lot of you it, it has already come out so clarity you'll be able to make better decisions you will just know like i don't really have to explain it any further than just saying that you will just know okay we have the world card here pisces so and the page of pentacles I think Pisces, you're very um, sturdy with your boundaries or you're just like, there's a little bit of that detached attitude that you have at this time. 
you're not willing to let anybody in just because they want something from you like some of you are tired of people using you for money for love for time for whatever the you know um It's like you're turning your back from this, Pisces, what is being offered to you with the King of Swords energy. With the Page of Pentacles, there's somebody coming in. But with the King of Swords, you're like, you know what? Well, I have my doubts. Prove yourself. Like something like that, okay? Um, and with the world energy, Pisces, this is about wrapping up. This is about letting go. It's, it's, it's also a sense of victory. But at the same time, I see you in a very protective energy okay for some of you new love is going to show up for you when you least expect it in your life in the next few months okay not just the time period that this reading might be written for but actually you know in the coming years or this year even love is going to show up for you very very unexpectedly that is something i'm getting over and over again in this reading okay let's see what is the oracle message for you pisces check out the link in the description box it will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with how are they thinking feeling about you their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and any other messages that you may need. So your message is to be fair. Some of you could be connecting with a Libra. The signs in this reading are Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Leo, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, I think I said. Okay, to be fair, number 38, number three, number eight, um, and number 11, those are significant here. Somebody could be a 38-year-old as well, but that's beside the point. But to be fair, doing the right thing, balancing things, right? right. So this is about what you can do and what you cannot do. This is about you really, like I said, it's about considering everything before you jump in. Like you're really determined to not make a decision that you made in the past that really cost you something like cost you lots of sleepless nights or whatever the case might be but i'm hearing wearing weighing the pros and cons so that is the kind of an energy oh my goodness there are so many cards that fell okay i can't actually take all of these cards but no place like home and serendipity number 18 and number 50. so letting go i feel like pisces is about letting go this is about doing what feels the most connected to you also you know it's about your deepest calling uh, some of you want to visit a you know family member or it's about something about your home um missing your home or wanting to be back home something like that changing your home co-create at the bottom of the deck so this is again talking about that energy of having to you know having to not having to but you know being able to manifest what you desire but do you believe in it do you believe in your capabilities your powers okay um it's about balance it's about letting go but it's also about divine timing Pisces, I feel like that is your message. Okay. Let's see, Pisces. What do we have from these handwritten notes? I am ready to come back. Absolutely. There's somebody who's ready to come back. Let go of stress. You will get what you want. Exactly. So if there's something stressing you out, let go of stress. What you want will come to you. Okay. This relationship is complex. So whoever you're connecting with, like I said, there's a, a complex relationship, but you've got other things to focus on right now as well. Like I said, love is going to show up for you when you're going to least expect it. But if some of you are just wanting to connect with a past person, that is going to happen for sure. But it's your choice to go back or not, okay? 
that's about it pisces those were the messages that popped out for you do give this video a like if you enjoyed the reading if you enjoyed the message um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the link in the description box to find out what's happening next um in your love situation and what does Pert want to say to you also your twin flame soulmate timeless reading and your 2021 forecast will be in the description box subscribe to my channel if you haven't already take care and bye bye